Are you ready to get started on some fast API today? Welcome to this episode of AI Kaldum. My name is Ali Kaldum. Let's get started. So fast API, uh, what is it? So it's a web framework for Python 3.7 and above. It's a very, very fast web application framework and hence the name. So fast API is really, really great because it has uh, documentation, all sorts of amazing community, all sorts of documentation all around. Uh, but then on top of that, it has something called the Swagger UI docs, which allows you to have a really nice, like pretty interface toward the end of you actually building it. So let's get started in actually showing how this is done. So in the documentation, you can see there are some great first steps uh, for what, how to kind of get this deployed right away. And we'll be testing this out today. So with this kind of like hello for, uh, world version, uh, you can see over here, this is kind of what we're aiming at. And uh, you can also go ahead and uh, modify even more uh, with the body. So you can do things for your own model and be able to deploy. Uh, later, I'll actually show a GitHub that me and the creator Sebastian uh, worked on for being able to do this with LLMs. So let's focus in on this real quick. So in this one, let me pull up VS Code here. And so I have VS Code here running, and I've just set a folder of Playground. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, and I'm going to call this main.py. And from here, we can get started. So let's bring in FastAPI. From there, we can actually start the application. So the application in this case is actually just going to be the fast API function there. And then we're going to create a function. This function is going to be off of a getting and uh, posting. So if you guys are familiar with HTML, get and post functionalities uh, to be able to acquire data from a server or push data to a server. Um, you can find out more. I'll be linking this as well over here for HTTP request methods. So we're going to be using the get methodology here for requesting requesting the data. So let's get that started. A app dot get. We're just going to have this for a root function. This is going to be an async function. We're going to go through and in this case, all we're trying to do is we're just going to try to return a message, right? So we just want something to give us some response as far as to, uh, hey, this is actually working. The function is being executed, and so we can receive it. And let's be a little fun here. Uh, welcome to AI Column. Let's keep going on fast API. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And from here, what we want to do is we want to make sure that fast API is installed. So let's pip install fast API. And there it is, it's already installed. I knew that <laughs> for uh, recommendation and uh, for viewing purposes, I'm going to do this. So uh, the other thing is let's pip install something called Uvicorn. Uvicorn is going to help us with our deployment and that is already installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. I had this pulled up earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Uvicorn and we're going to have our main file and it's going to go ahead and recognize that uh, it's hitting our application, our app, and it's just going to start the server. So it's going to start on host 0000, and uh, which is actually, there's a slight difference between local host and, zero, and that one. Um, I will actually be posting it, but this is actually our local host. So uh, we will also be posting it on port 8000. So let's get that one started. And there it is. Immediately, you see that it's deployed. So let's check this out. All right, I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna open up a new window. I'm gonna type in localhost port 8000. And we see we get our return very, very immediate. Now this is locally hosted, obviously. Uh, we can also access this through 127.0.0.1, which is our local host, and that's it. Um, but there's something really, really cool, which is one of the reasons that it, you know Fast API gets even more recognition on this, is the docs functionality. So the docs functionality is through a Swagger user uh, interface, and so what it allows to, you to do is basically access Fast API in a way in your application with a somewhat graphical user interface. Now this is a this allows you to 
uh, execute on this. So let's try it out and then we can hit the execute button. And you can see over here in the response body, we're able to get this. Why is this important? Why is this a big deal? Well, one, it allows you to quickly demonstrate something. You want to demonstrate something, show it to your boss. You want to show it something like that. Uh, you can quickly send them something and they can try it out. You can also use this for post commands and other commands. So that means they can upload files and be able to go through things that way. Uh, pretty awesome. And from here, you can actually connect it to like a website. So if you have somebody doing HTML, uh, you know, CSS kind of stuff, they are able to create a website that links in directly to your application. Also, this can just exact same way that we kind of deployed it here locally. You can deploy it on something like AWS EC2 or uh, other things like that. I teach a lot of that within the MLOps community for how to deploy that. This is actually huge for MLOps, especially since it also can be impl implemented with uh, Ray IO and a bunch of other model serving things within MLOps. So uh, this is basically Fast API as far as a quick introduction to it. Now, what I also want to show here is, uh, so we showed everything about the body. You can kind of like keep adding on into this, but um, going over here for uh, the actual GitHub. So this is, when we're talking about LLMs and LLM ops, this is great because uh, Sebastian and I worked on this for um, being able to uh, deploy something on uh, through LLMs. And uh, th this is wonderful. Uh, there's a video here, which you can watch, which kind of he goes through every single step as far as how he got this deployed. Um, also, Swagger, U Swagger UI is absolutely amazing for being able to uh, go through and get all of these different kind of functionalities. It is open source, and that's one of the reasons that it was implemented into Fast API. Now, with Fast API, what you can do is that you can use Ray.io for model serving. And so you can deploy your applications through this relatively quickly. Um, Ray.io is free. It's used by all sorts of companies, Netflix, so on. So it's, uh, it's an absolute great tool for being able to deploy quickly. Um, and along with Fast API, it makes it very, very fast. Uh, like in general, you're, you'll be able to, uh, here we have fast API integration. So you'll basically be able to get your application from code to everybody using it as quickly as possible. Um, it, it, it does kind of uh, struggle when it comes to many, many containers, but, uh, at smaller applications or more direct applications, this is excellent. And so I'll also be sharing this Ray Serve plus Fast API. This is kind of shows you how to bring in both. Uh, so you're able to kind of like bring in both applications in a very, very small amount of code and be able to deploy that way. Again, you can do this on EC2. You can use, use this on Google GCP uh, for GCEs and so on. So a uh, very, very powerful, powerful tool. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of like a glimpse into the world of Fast API. I'll be showing more things and posting more things. Make sure to follow me on LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn's AI Kadam. And uh, going from there and uh, lots of LLMs, LLM ops. I'll also be teaching this week. Uh, I'm giving a generative AI, AI workshop in a couple days. And uh, a, the day after that, I'm actually hosting another generative AI workshop with, uh, with Fourth Brain. So make sure to come to that. I think we, for the, those that are not registered, uh, there is another event coming up April 26, which we'll be doing that as well. So get registered. Thank you. I'll see you next time.